what is up everybody it is your boy jay figs back with another video man and today guys i basically just have another haul for you just unboxing a bunch of figures that i've picked up recently uh some have came from online you know just randomly like ebay pickups some have been from like retail stores like walmart and target and whatnot basically all the figures that i picked up are for my wrestlemania predictions video so that video will probably be filmed tomorrow and uploaded on friday uh, just the day before WrestleMania, just to get a little bit hyped for, you know, what's coming up this weekend, which is going to be absolutely insane. Definitely going to be an all-timer of a WrestleMania, but enough yapping, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at the figures, man. Now, like I said earlier, guys, a lot of the pickups are basically just for the WrestleMania predictions video. So I'm going to go ahead and start it off on the left side here. Uh, two of these figures are actually basics, but let me tell you what, man, these are some actually insane basic figures. So first of all, we're going to start off with this Gunther right here. Uh, he's actually got a pretty basic gear, just a blackout gear. He actually has articulation in the boots, which I do really like a lot. Now, the next figure we have is one that I have been wanting for for a very long time. And it's going to be this basic series 141 LA Knight, man. Uh, definitely a great talent, a great head sculpt. And again, he has articulation in the boots, which I do really like a lot. I actually did buy this figure because I want him for my video. But I'm actually making a custom LA Knight Ultimate Edition figure right now. So I need this head sculpt. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this figure. Now the next figure is actually going to be this uh, Series 107 Grayson Waller. Nothing too special. I mean, he's an okay talent. Uh, it's a cool figure, I guess. Uh, again, just picked him up for the WrestleMania predictions video. I'm pretty sure he's in the ladder match with Theory. I'm pretty sure. I don't even know. I'm pretty sure he has a match. I could be wrong about that. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, definitely need this figure. And lastly, guys, one that I've been talking about for quite a while. It's going to be this uh, Top Picks Logan Paul Elite. Now, I actually did miss out on the Ultimate Edition figure that we got from Mattel Creations like last year, I think it was. So to finally have this Elite is definitely one that I have been wanting for a very long time. And I'm very excited to open this one, guys. I'm not like the hugest Logan Paul fan. I definitely don't like this guy at all. But uh, definitely something unique. Uh, not something that you see every day from WWE and Mattel. So uh, definitely a cool pickup. And again, cannot wait to open this one, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start off with opening the basics first. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Gunther because uh, he's pretty plain, I guess. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Super easy. You guys already know how basics work, man. I'm out of the plastic here. Throw this packaging to the side. Boom. And here is Gunther straight up out of the packaging, man. This is such an awesome figure. I'm pretty sure I did a review for that Elite on the channel. But the whole reason I needed this figure was for the head sculpt for my Ultimate Edition Gunther. That's going to be coming out very, very soon. Just need a few more parts. And that should be done again very, very soon. But yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, he actually does have boot articulation, which we don't get anymore with uh, some basics. So definitely cool to see. He obviously has a new articulation that we talked about with the Cody figure that I unboxed a few videos ago. Again, just pretty basic, just has a blackout gear, has some sculpts, ring general on the butt cheeks right there. Super clean, super nice figure, actually. I actually kind of don't want to take this figure apart. It's actually super sick. I think it's actually a great basic. Mattel is doing a great job with the newer basics, and it's definitely making me more interested in picking up basics again, which I haven't been picking up in a very, very long time. So uh, yeah, definitely a great figure. I'm so glad I got this one at retail for such a great price. Shout out to my brother for finding this at a uh, Walmart, I think it was. So yeah, shout out to him. Let's move on to LA Knight, guys. All right, now moving into LA Knight, guys. This is one that, again, I have been wanting for for a very, very long time, man. Ever since I saw the leaks of this figure, oh my goodness. I wanted it so freaking bad, man. Oh, God damn, man. All right, guys, now here is LA Knight, man. Such a great figure, man. Look at that head sculpt right there. Such a crazy head scan right there for LA Knight, man. Super detailed. Looks exactly like him. He's got this super jacked ass torso that we usually get with like Batista and John Cena and whatnot. Here's the gear. Just has like some, uh, what is that? I don't even know what language that is. But yeah, it's got some writing right there on the nutsack. Oh, Gunther just fell. What the hell? On the back of the butt cheeks, it just says LA Knight. Pretty basic, but again, very, very nice. Here's his boots. His boots have a lot of detailing, actually. Got a tiny little LA logo right there on the right side of the shoe says knight at the top of the boots right there on both of them la on the left side of the boot right there again and like i said man these boots are also articulated which is super freaking awesome basically just an elite without the uh the good arm rotation and the uh and the ab crunch but i don't mind the ab crunch thing at all it's actually a great posable figure it's super nice in hand actually and again i'm going to be using this figure for my ultimate edition which i have right here now the boots aren't the most accurate but everything else i'm pretty sure is like one to one with this la knight right here so I'm just going to be plopping on this head to this LA Knight uh, Ultimate Body. It's not done. It's super freaking loose, as you guys can see. But yeah, man, I'm actually feeling this LA Knight, man. It's super nice. Can articulate super freaking well. If I'm not happy with the results of the Ultimate Edition, I would definitely plop the head back on here and use this LA Knight in my fed until I get the new Elite. So yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the other figures, though, guys. All right, guys. Now, the next figure I'm going to be opening is just going to be this Grayson Waller. Uh, I'm going to go ahead... Oh. 
LA Knight Ultimate just fell right there. But yeah, let's go ahead and open up this Grayson Waller. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward for you guys. All right, guys, now here is Grayson Waller straight up out of the packaging. Now, one thing I do like about this figure is the gear, man. Look at this super clean gear. It's kind of like pink flames, I think that's what it is. Uh, definitely looks really, really cool. He's got this new uh, knee pad mold. I'm not sure how well those articulate. Uh, it's actually not too bad, actually. You guys know those thick-ass knee pads that Mattel used to give us, man. Those shizzes were hard as hell to articulate, man. But, uh, yeah, I'm actually a big fan of this figure. I'm not going to lie. Uh, seeing this figure in the box, I was like, eh, it's kind of basic, and I'm not really a big Grayson Waller fan. I think he's definitely kind of cringe, but uh, yeah, it's not a bad uh, figure at all, man. It poses around really, really nice. Waller in pink right there, across the crotch right there, and like some college, like collegiate type of uh, font right there, which is definitely very, very nice. Got the GW right there on the uh, sweater jacket thing right here. Grayson Waller effect on the back. Again, with the pink flames. I like the gold trim right here on the jacket, which is definitely very, very nice. Definitely a cool little jacket, little accessory that comes with them. Good torso choice, I think. I'm pretty sure this guy's kind of actually ripped up in real life. But yeah, again, nothing too interesting with this figure, man. I don't have much to say about Grayson Waller, man. Uh, I don't really care for any of his work at the moment. He's kind of cringe, kind of a, kind of just a jobber right now. Uh, he's got his little show going on, kind of like a Chris Jericho kind of thing. I don't see much with this guy in the ring. Let me know what you guys think about Grayson Waller in the comments below. Are you guys a fan of him? Do you guys like his work in the ring? And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the final figure, which is going to be this Logan Paul. All right, and last but not least, it's going to be this Top Picks Logan Paul. I cannot freaking wait, guys. This is one that has been on my radar for such a long time, man. Such a great figure. Uh, let's go ahead and skip over this, though. And here is Paul straight up out of the packaging, man. Such a cool figure. Definitely a very, very unique figure. Hopefully that doesn't break on me right now. Holy smokes. That is super goddamn tight right there. Oh my goodness. But uh, yeah, here's the head sculpt that Logan Paul comes with. Definitely a great head sculpt. The expression is definitely very accurate. This guy's very uh, charismatic. As much as I hate to admit that, he is definitely very charismatic in the ring. He definitely knows how to work a crowd. Definitely a great expression for such a uh, very charismatic guy, man. He's got like this Wolverine type of gear thing going on. I don't know if you guys get that same vibe. Uh, it's definitely reminding me of like that Johnny Gargano fan takeover figure all the yellows and the blues and whatnot But I mean, I'm pretty sure this guy's nickname is like the Maverick or that's like his whole gimmick thing the Maverick Logan Paul I could be wrong. I'm not too sure. I know his brand is like the Maverick, right? It could be wrong I don't watch this guy on YouTube. I'm not sure about that one But uh, yeah, definitely getting like strong Wolverine type of vibes from this I'm pretty sure this is the colors uh, again of his Maverick brand thing uh, He comes with this great cloth goods like jacket entrance jacket thing uh, it just says Paul on the back right there. It's got like a weird material. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's like super weird. It's not like very, uh, it's not like bold. It's super like faded out kind of. I'm not too sure if the camera's picking it. No, it definitely is. Look at that. It's like super faded out. It's not like super like bold and pronounced like the colors. I don't know. Kind of just washed out. But uh, I definitely think it looks very, very cool. Again, definitely a very, very nice touch for this figure. The torso choice is actually insane as well, in my opinion. This guy's definitely a freak of nature athlete, and he's got a freaking ripped up torso. That's definitely a great figure right there, man. But yeah, the scaling is very, very good. The torso choice is very accurate. Only problem I have right now is how tight these joints are. I feel like they're going to break on me if I keep moving them around. But uh, yeah, apart from that, man, I'm a really big fan of this figure. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that he came with as well. Now, obviously, you know this guy, man. He has to come with this Prime bottle, man. This is such a great accessory. Obviously, you know this guy's the owner of Prime or like the co-owner of Prime. Then he just comes with a bunch of interchangeable hands. He has some uh, mic holding hands and some like We The One bloodline pointing up in the freaking sky hands. Very simple figure. It doesn't come with much. Uh, I would have liked if he came with like a U.S. title or something, maybe. I don't know if he won the U.S. title uh, at this point in his career. I'm pretty sure he did, right? Yeah, it would have been very, very cool to see a U.S. title with this guy at least, you know, throwing a, a different accessory. But I'm not complaining, man. It's a very, very good figure. And for the price I got it at, man, cannot complain. Uh, picked it up at a freaking steal. I won't even lie. I think I paid like 25 bucks or something. So pretty much retail. Uh, shout out to the guy who sold it to me. Very, very cool figure. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. 
And that's gonna be it for today's video, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it felt like a bit of a short one. I wasn't filming for that long. So if it is a little bit rushed, if it is a little bit short, so I do wanna say sorry in advance if it felt a little bit rushed or if it felt a little bit quick. Uh, I just wanted to get something out as quickly as possible. I'm trying to put out a lot of videos this weekend or this week for WrestleMania. So I'm definitely gonna be uploading a bunch of shorts. Uh, I'll definitely post a short of the LA night when it is done and ready for you guys. So be on the lookout for that. I just actually placed an order for the new Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes that was revealed to us on ringside. So there will definitely be a review on that figure as soon as I get it, man. I cannot wait. It looks absolutely amazing. But yes, guys. Be on the lookout for Friday's video, my WrestleMania predictions. I might actually film two videos tomorrow. I'm not too sure. I was thinking of doing something like my favorite WrestleMania matches or like my favorite WrestleMania moments. Let me know what you guys would think of that in the comments down below. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, as well as turn on the post notification bell so you guys never miss another upload, man. We are absolutely killing it with the analytics right now, and I cannot believe the growth that we have been able to achieve, man. So definitely thank you guys so very much. That's it for me. See you tomorrow. See you Friday. See you Saturday. See you Sunday. Get ready for WrestleMania, boys. Let's go. Peace out.